So here to solve this, so the length by Takei is Sekachi called 3 by 3 matrix. And we have a few places to make quick starts. For instance, these three zero clues, uh, which you'll recognize even from yesterday's puzzle by Grant, are quick places to go. But even around this one clue near this zero, which can't come and take these, we actually have these two ends for the two that are forced. Around a 3-3 three, three clue, you can't come through the center. So this actually comes in this space. That means this moves out. And in doing that, we get some shape around this three. And so that puts a lot around the bottom we can use. We've got two loop ends that have to go out. That now means we've got this loop end coming up. We have this form for the three, three starting to come together. This has to come up or right because it can't come down. And in doing that, it's going to finish out the one. So this has to come across and this coming down. So these get finished. That moves into this 3-3 three, three clue. So this now is put in. Loop end here is closed. These ends come up. This doesn't come to the left, so it has to come to the right. And it's going to take a set of these. Uh, we'll be able to come back to this in a bit, but why don't we do some more down here on the lower left. Notice we've got one, two, three, four loop ends. And if those all came together, they would actually close off the loop without this upper right bit being at all involved. So we need to get this upper right involved, and that means this end needs to reach into it, and we need to have an end here that come into it. And that observation is a key aha for this puzzle. It actually now puts a, a loop end here, which is not going to be able to take these around the one. So instead they take these. That finishes this out, puts this into the grid, closes this out at the top. These ends now don't want to close on themselves, so they come down here. This comes down. We've got this sneaky bit that's just going to work on its own. This comes over and doesn't take these. This doesn't take these. We now actually can't take this in the middle, so to make this 2-2 two -two work, we've got to use these ends. That means this last end of the bottom comes along the right, and we just go up and up, and we're through this puzzle. So harder than the Monday puzzle as a tricky Tuesday. But had some good force patterns, particularly this lower right where this one around a zero gave a good start to the puzzle. The threes in the middle then worked to get a setting uh, up point where we saw we had to get parts of the grid to get to the top right or we wouldn't be able to have one single loop. And that observation of how we had to come through this channel as well as come around the top end were the key moments to think through in this puzzle. Thanks to Kea for the puzzle and thanks for you for watching. We'll see you again soon.